So this past month, my business generated me close to $50,000 profit. And in this video, I wanna share with you why I don't think $50,000 a month is enough. And yes, I am fully aware that that might sound very douchey, but before you make your own assumptions and you call me an ungrateful my only request is that you watch from start to finish and hopefully by the end of the video, my statement uh, that $50,000 a month is not enough will probably make sense. So without further ado, let me explain why. So I was actually motivated to create this video on this topic based on the pretty popular survey that conducted by Charles Schwab that basically stated that the average person would need $2,270,000 to be rich. And it led me to think about the difference between being rich and feeling rich, because those are two very different things. Even just taking a look at my personal example, the average annual US income is $35,977. And also the median household net worth is $97,300. And so technically compared to that, $50,000 a month is a pretty decent amount of money. But again, being rich and feeling rich are very different. And here are some of the reasons why. The first thing to consider is lifestyle inflation. Essentially, what it refers to is that the cost of living tends to grow in accordance with how much you make. So typically, what we as humans do is we upgrade our lifestyle based on our income. So if you're making $3,000 a month, you're probably not going to be living in the same place as if you're making you know, $30,000 a month, right? What most people will do is they will move to cities that have a higher cost of living. For example, New York or LA, right? In my case, for example, right now I'm based out in Madrid and I pretty much moved to the best neighborhood in Madrid, which is also the most expensive neighborhood. And that actually leads me to the second point, which is the law of association. What happens is as you start changing your lifestyle, you also frequent different places, right? You might frequent better restaurants. You might spend more time around wealthy neighborhoods, right? You might actually make new friends. You might meet uh, new business partners, etc., etc. And so what happens now is since you've leveled up and you've changed your lifestyle, you start to surround yourself with people that are making as much as you are or even more. And so in your eyes, what you're making is almost completely normal because you almost have this wealth eco chamber effect. And that actually leads me to the third point, which is the comparison bias. It is natural human tendency to compare ourselves to other humans. And so what happens when you're making money and when you start to surround yourself with people who are making either the same as you or much more than you is you compare yourself to those people. And a lot of people will say, well, that's your problem. That's something you have to work on because you should never compare yourself to other people. And I completely agree with that, right? That would be absolutely the most ideal mental uh, space to be in. But I can assure you that it's almost going against human nature. And so it's not so much about not comparing yourself because I truly believe that that's almost inevitable, but instead it's more about not attaching your self-worth to that comparison. And also what happens is that the money that we make becomes our new normal. And so for those who are making 5k a month, 10k a month is rich, right? For those who are making 10k a month, 30k a month is rich. For those who are making 50k a month, 100k a month is rich. And so the base from which you compare yourself only goes up. And so you're constantly looking upwards because the money you make now is the new normal. So as you continue to make more money, your expectations also rise with it. And the amount of times that you hit the like button also rise with it. But in all seriousness, if you guys are enjoying this video, go ahead and smash the like button helps out with the algorithm and the whole channel. I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's go back into the video. The final reason why $2,270,000 will not make you feel rich and why $50,000 a month isn't enough is due to a principle that I call more money, more problems. Yeah, I guess so. More money, more problems. As you grow your impact, your horizon starts to widen, your goals start to becoming more ambitious, and your perception of impact in the world really starts to change. And let me explain what I mean by this. If you're making $3,000 a month, your whole goal may be to make more money so you can provide for your family and you never have to worry about money again. If you're making $10,000 a month, which from my personal experience was by far the amount where I saw the biggest change in my lifestyle and really the way I thought about money. If you're making $10,000 a month income from, for example, a business, right? You might think about how to grow your business so you can build generational wealth for your family uh, onwards, right? That might be your thought process at $10,000 a month. Now, if you're making $50,000 a month or $100,000 a month, now you might start thinking about your bigger mission in the world and uh, your bigger impact in the world. And that might be feeding the hungry or providing opportunities for those who are less fortunate. And you realize that $50,000 a month doesn't really have a massive impact, right? And you realize that $50,000 a month to take care of your team for your business, to take care of you and your family, to donate to charity and other side projects that you may be doing, you realize that it may not be enough because now you're resonating at a higher wavelength where you're thinking about your bigger mission on this planet. And so your perception of impact really changes and you're not just thinking about you, 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 you're thinking about your bigger mission in the planet. And so that is the fourth reason why I think that $50,000 a month isn't enough. Now, does it ever stop? I had a bit of a hypothesis before I started doing a bit of research and that hypothesis was proven to be true. I found a ton of articles basically stating that even millionaires who are making 5 million, 
10 million a year are not yet satisfied. In fact, only 13% of all millionaires think they are rich. To wrap up the video on a positive note, here are some things that really changed my perception of money for the better. The first one is I've learned to not make it so much about a specific figure. Like for example, hitting 10K a month or 100K a month, simply because that leads to mainly two things. The first one is disappointment for the four reasons that we just spoke about. You realize that once you get to 10K, it's not a huge amount of money. Definitely make it and maybe your goal is just to stay at 10K and maybe you're one of the very few people who are completely fine making 10K a month for the rest of their existence and just very, very happy, right? And so definitely go ahead and make the money, go through these paradigms yourself. But that is the first thing that I've seen that leads to. And the second thing it leads to is complacency. If your goal for three years has been to get to 10K a month or you know 50K a month, once you get to 50K a month, you almost have to rethink your whole existence because you think, what is next, right? And so what I recommend you do is at the start, you can have those figures that you're shooting for. For example, 10K a month or 25K a month, but make sure that you also have that grand mission that you're pushing for every single day that's almost impossible to accomplish in a lifetime, right? That constantly pushes you to be better. And the second thing that has helped me is that feeling rich is more of a state of mind. It's not so much determined by the numbers, but by your gratitude for appreciating what you do have, which goes back to the old saying of wherever you go, there you are. If you don't feel rich at 20K a month, you're not gonna feel rich at 50K a month. If you don't feel rich at 50K a month, you're not gonna feel rich at 100K a month. As cliche as it may sound, it's all about appreciating and enjoying the journey and not obsessing over the final outcome. So that is that for this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you turn that gray, ugly looking like button into a very sexy blue for the YouTube algorithm. Also leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on personal finance, entrepreneurship, and social media marketing agency. So go ahead and do that and hit the little bell icon so you never miss an update. And the final thing is if you wanna join an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their income, grow their social media marketing agency, and meet other budding entrepreneurs, go ahead and check out the link in the description. That is a link to my free Facebook mastermind. Go ahead and apply and if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always, hope everything is going well in your journey and I will see you in the next one, peace.